Hello, this is another lesson, another advice, welcome. Yes, and uh, in the video before I was talking about, I started to talk about the sequence drills. Yes, and I was explaining the three quarter slide. So the next step is half slide. Yes, all these drills uh, you will find uh, on the um, on the boathouse. If you, you, if you just arrive to the boathouse, you will see the coxswain are talking about the peak drills. What is peak drills? It's all the sequence drills that you use to get warm when you are on the water and to get the coordination with your, your whole team. Yes, really is where you set uh, where you set your three quarter slide, if you three quarter slide or your half slide, your uh, match with your partners on the eight. Yes. Uh, and also, of course, help to warm up your body. So it's the first step that you are doing on the water when you in the first 20 minutes. Yes. So now it's the half slide. Yes. Again, in the same way that the three quarter slide, uh, one of the first goal and one of the first things that we need to try, and uh, one of, is one of the best things that we can improve this kind of drills on the on the air is we don't have to bend our back. Yes, it's no reason to use our back bend. So the level, the handles, we have the handles there, right now we're holding there. Yes, and the handle should, should be arrived, yes, at the level of your feet. Yes, so the three quarter slide should be around here. Yes. So you are there, that should be your three quarter slide. And then just roll. If you check, I try to keep my spine extended. It's no reason, I don't have any reason to bend my back already from here. Yes, no, I finish and remember, I don't have the, nothing bother me on the balance. I don't have the water around. Yes, and the environment is very, very safe. So really I'm trying to, the, the best profit that I can try to get from there in this, uh, in the half slide and the three quarter slide is improve the motion from my hip. Yes, so I finish, yes, and you need to get all the time. Remember, it's a warm-up. You are not doing exactly a workout. You don't try to reach your best split right now. So then you are trying is release your arm, set your shoulders in front of your body, in front of your hip, yes, and just here. Don't lose the shape in your back. It's no reason to start to find your half slide in this way. It's a difference between this one and this one. And if you see, my lats are active all the time. Yes, I release my hand, I extend my, spa, uh, my spine, yes, and my lats are already there at the moment that I decide to pull, to have a contact with, uh, with the foot stretcher and try to find a nice contact between my feet and the foot stretcher, my, my lats are in tension, they are ready to work, ready to hold the pressure from the chain. How to work on this? You can work 30 seconds. You can work one minute on this. Remember, you do the exercise and try to translate to the regular stroke. So 30 seconds here could be in half slide, and 30 seconds at the full slide, yes, could be one minute, yes, at the half slide, yes, and one minute at the full slide to translate the drill. And one exercise that I really like and makes very, very dynamic, very, very nice this exercise is try to work one stroke in full slide and one stroke in half slide. For example, half slide here and then full slide. Half slide here and then full slide. How much time? One minute, just one minute. And this is about the half slide on the sequence drills. Thank you so much, I hope this helped.